What is going on guys, Bisectatron here, back bringing you some more cool attacks and we're taking a look this time uh, at some interesting attacks starting off with a Super Bowler Town Hall 14 attack. This was crazy, uh, make sure you pay attention to like all the different components of this because we're going to see some like very interesting uh, kind of interactions here that you don't typically see. Um, starting off with the uh, funnel on either side, you have um, the Flame Flinger doing its thing down south, um, getting some good value on all these defenses. It's a good funneling unit. I mean, if you're going to do kind of one of these spamish attacks where you're going to come in with like a big push, might as well create the funnel with it if there's good defenses you can take out from a distance. Um, getting that nice like flame lingering effect is going to actually take out that barracks, I believe. Set things up really nicely and then come in here with the main push and there's those super bowlers. They're going to be a little sturdier, um, you know, bigger uh, rocks they're throwing um, and they're going to be perfectly suited for the inside of this base using a couple jump spells just to jump them on through. Access to a lot of that interior stuff. The eagles there, a bunch of the infernos are there. Now you'll notice the town hall is not there. But, believe it or not, the Flame Flinger is still up and running, and it's going to go ahead and uh, hop forward, take out that town hall while everything's working in the middle. So, I guess that was probably the plan here. Um, I don't see anything else that was planned to take out the town hall. Maybe the Royal Champion could have gotten there and done something, but she's not great against the town hall. So, I think, really, the, the um, Flame Flinger is going to be the star of the show here. The Bowlers, uh, the Super Bowlers, that is, did their thing, clearing out the middle of the base, Bunch of troops still up in there. The king is still up. Several of those super bowlers um, has the queen, the warden. A lot of troops still up. And then here comes the world champion just to clean things out, uh, take out the remaining defenses. And yeah, t uh, town hall goes down just in time. Um, the flame flinger is pretty darn low. I think they might need to nerf it. You know, make it so it breaks a little quicker. It lasts for a long time. Anyway, some valks come out. I think it was a pretty solid choice. Um, something that can clean up. You know, pretty quick. Pretty tanky for some of these defenses. Um, had the Town Hall not been down, Valks might have been able to get in there and then they might have pathed around it a little bit there. So, um, but a couple of them coming back inside. Yeah, it would have been a little bit trickier, but the Royal Champion also up as well. Or maybe she went down. Uh, nope, she's in the middle there uh, with the Valks. So, there was some backup plans, but really the Flame Flinger did a great job and then the Super Bowler is always fun to see. Hits that Queen's ability right at the end there. And let's go ahead and move on. Take a look at some Town Hall 12, Town Hall 11 action as well. Um, or sorry, Town Hall 13 and Town Hall 12 action. I have my Town Hall level tiers mixed up. I'm still living back in, uh, I don't know, a, a year or two ago when before Town Hall 14 was a thing. Um, more than a year ago, maybe. Anyway, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at this next one. Thought it was a good attack, and um, using the super minions, one thing I noticed when watching this is it's a very wide um, face of this base to kind of be spreading out across of, you know, spreading the troops very thin. But I feel like today, in you know today's game of Clash of Clans, you can get away with it, um, spreading out this type of attack more because you have more tools in your in your toolbox. Uh, dragons coming in. The super minions behind, and of course the battle blimp. Get in there, get that town hall down as quickly as possible. Has that nice dragon rider inside. It does go down pretty quickly though because of the single inferno, um, the royal champion, the town hall, lots of stuff there. But um, coming in, nice warden's ability gets a lot of the dragons included in that. Uh, queen doing her thing on the bottom. She's going to go down in a little bit, but gets some more value out of her ability first. Main thing here is just needs to get those dragons in there, get that multi-inferno down. There's a lot of damage, they took a lot of you know heat from the stone slammer, that nice spread of all those defenses, uh, but they got in there and got the job done. I think the super minions kind of help ensure that, because they don't have to get up close on those defenses, they have that range, and that allows them to take out some of those core defenses a little easier, and then coming through with that wave of bats, that's really going to finish off the base here. And uh, anytime you can make it so your bat wave is not going to need freezes until like the back end that's going to be uh the most valuable and the most effective way to do it if you ha find yourself having to use like two freezes as soon as you drop your wave of bats maybe consider starting them on the other side of the base you want to use those freezes later rather than having to use them sooner there's just less of a chance things can go wrong um but anyway has 
couple dragons left up. This one might have been a little bit closer than it, it seems there. Uh, a few things don't go right. This might not have tripled, but nice attack nonetheless. And uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at one more here. Going to hop down to number 26 for our daily dose of Town Hall 12. And um, this one was really nice. I, I like the Lalo, and oftentimes at Town Hall 12, you see this multi-inferno in the core like this, kind of isolated, only the clan castles there, maybe an air sweeper, um, but not a whole lot besides that. Good opportunity to drop the lightnings and quakes if you can afford it, then come in with like a Sui, King, Queen as we're doing here. Gonna basically do two things, get the town hall, uh, get the uh, expo, the sweepers, air defense, just some kind of you know value like that but also gonna break the, the ring because the base has now been turned into a ring because of uh, the, the inferno in the middle going down. So this kind of breaks things off and provides a starting point for the Lala to start once everything's ready. So it's kind of a good thing here that the clan castle's not gonna lure right away. Don't even wanna get the heroes involved in that. And this might have been a cleanup attack. So maybe the attacker here knows what's in the town hall or what's in the clan castle. Not entirely sure, but gets uh, the important stuff down. There is, you know, still the clan castle, still the queen. That's all there, but you can see it must have been a, a Lava Hound CC and maybe uh, he was aware of that because goes ahead and just lightnings down that uh, headhunter. That was really interesting. Um, I think it's more effective than using a poison as we saw there because one lightning shot and that headhunter goes down. Uh, the poison would definitely take a lot longer. So once to save the warden's ability for kind of this back end type uh, defense arrangement here. Obviously the queen's on the back end, that's the biggest issue for these balloons and for the stone slammer. But the warden's ability is gonna be very nice here as soon as he goes ahead and pop that. And then uh, I guess we'll see what's in the stone slammer. I believe it's gonna be something to help take out the queen. Uh, so ton of balloons still left up, still has that freeze working. Those uh, pups and minions hit a few of those red air bombs that were by that uh, inferno in the core that got lightning down at the beginning. But um, there's still enough of them to kind of help take out some of these remaining buildings along with the balloon. And I think the stone slammer is just going to, yeah, it's not even going to open up so we won't see what's inside of it. But I think in general, if you have the ability to, it's better to, to leave the stone slammer as is. It's going to be a little quicker at cleaning stuff up than usually what's inside of it unless you have like some super uh, fast troops coming out. If it's balloons, dragons, they're kind of slow typically. So the stone slammer is actually more efficient at, at cleaning up. Just kind of a little tip there. But anyway, that'll do it guys for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. Some fun attacks to take a look at. Um, be sure to hit that creator code. It really helps me out. Uh, just appreciate that. And I'll see you all in the next video. Thanks for watching this video. If you enjoy my content, consider supporting the channel by entering my creator boost code bisect in the settings tab of your game, and keep in mind it occasionally resets and must be re-entered. Click or tap for another video and be sure to subscribe. See you all next time, Bisectatron out.